Hey y'all. So um, today it's a little chilly, so I'm a little cold up here with my jacket on, but it's fine. Um, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about, um, I guess like my seasonal reflection of the garden for spring. Um, I'm going to tell you all kind of what the things that did good, the things that did bad, and the things that um, I've just kind of labeled as like they could be better. Um, that I, I'm not really disappointed that they didn't do anything, but, um, I'm going to start out with the bad so to begin with. Um, squash this year was terrible. The squash bugs got to it, or, I don't really know if they were squash, they weren't squash bugs. They were like ants. I don't know if they were ants either, but bugs got to them in the heat um they grew these big green bushes and um or the summer squash grew big green bushes and had flowers but they never were uh we never had any female flowers um the next is tomatoes this year i was expecting a huge harvest of tomatoes i actually planted like 14 plants and not one gave me a tomato over the size of a ping pong ball. Um, the cherry tomatoes did great. They made me sick by the time we were done with them. The chickens actually got most of them. And the only three large tomatoes or large varieties of tomatoes only gave me, um, like I said, tomatoes the size of a ping pong ball. So, um, the next thing is melons. The vines were stunted growth um, with cantaloupe and watermelon. I think it was because of how I planted them. Um, I just basically dumped a bag of soil on the ground and didn't really do anything with the dirt under and it was really hard. Um, so I think that was part of my problem. But seeds this year just didn't sprout. I don't know if it was because they were old or if they weren't mature i don't really know um, but i didn't get any melons this year um cuca melon I, I, I planted it in a bad area um it was oh chickens y'all um i planted it in a bad area it was only on one it was only on a tomato trellis that was about two feet tall and so it grew this big vine and covered the trellis, but the flowers that it did have didn't produce anything. Um, it was my first year. We're going to try again, but next year we're going to put it on a taller trellis and hope for the best. Um, so like I was saying, the birdhouse gourds, the seeds were very hard to sprout. Um, so I think it's just a gourd thing that the seeds are hard to sprout since the leaf gourds for the same way. Um, next is potatoes. I was very happy with my potatoes this year. It was my first year growing them and they did better than I expected. I got more than I expected, but they were very small. Um, I don't know if it was just because I didn't take care of the vine or the plant well enough for the roots to grow, um, but the small potatoes that I did get actually became seed potatoes for what I'm growing now. So, uh, Next is herbs. The store-bought herbs did great. They grew. They were amazing. Seeds were very hard to sprout for me this year. Um, I literally tried everything, I think. And finally got a sage and some... I don't know what's it called. The stuff you put in salsa. Cilantro. <laughs> um, finally got those to sprout. And then I did get uh, sweet basil and holy basil to sprout. And they did great. They lived all season. Um, so we're going to go back to the good now. <laughs> so good for me this year was strawberries. They had lots of runners. I actually made the mistake of not planting them when I should have. When they had lots of runners at the prime time of the season. Um, we actually had a big storm that killed most of the runners. <laughs> and so um, it's amazing. I even have one plant to even plant this year. And I think it's expanded like five or six more runners after that. So, um, we had no flowers, but again, it was the first year and they threw out runners, so I was happy with that. 
Um, next is beans. Beans did great. I finally got a uh, green bean harvest cooking, and so that's what I did. Um, we actually got two uh, cookings of green beans for our family of four. Um, and then with this, I'm including the purple hole peas. They did great. Um, they gave me purple hole peas, <laughs> but I think most of those are just going to become seeds for next year um, because we didn't get a good enough harvest to cook with. But I think that's just with all dried beans. Now it's like a, like a bean soup with them. I don't know. Um, next is cucumbers. Cucumbers did great. Um, they made me sick by the end of the year. I was tired of them and pulled them all up before the season was even over. Um, I did make the mistake of not picking them when they were smaller. I would let them get like one foot plus and then pull them. But I realized the mistake now that the seeds were too hard to eat and the skin was too hard. And so I think that's one reason why I was kind of turned away from them by the end of the year. But I don't know. Next is lima beans. Um, they did great once they were discovered. I actually struggled with them to sprout all year. And then I, when I was pulling up the green or the dragon tongue bush beans and the purple hole peas I actually found these two plants and once I pulled everything out these puny little bitty plants became these huge bushes <laughs> so um a lot of beans are doing great I actually picked all that was on my plant um before I freeze so that I didn't lose them and they're inside right now so okay so we're gonna kind of go to like a positive outlook on the season um this was my first year with a large garden and it was my first year not buying any plants or not not any i only bought a few um i bought a pimento plant a pimento pepper plant because i didn't have any seeds for it and it was just easier just to buy a plant that was already started um i bought a pineapple sage because i like the smell of it and i bought a um tomato because it was almost dying in the store and i got it on clearance so um for a late start, I did pretty good this season. Um, like I said, a lot of my stuff failed, but it was mainly user error. Um, about July, it got a little bit too hot, and I didn't want to come out here and water, and so I didn't. Um, and so it's amazing that I did get anything, really. Uh, for a little fertilizer and pest spray, stuff did really well. Um, I did not fertilize before the season. Every so often I would drop a little fertilizer by the plants. But other than that, I really didn't fertilize and I really didn't fertilize and I didn't use any pest spray or like I didn't pick off any pests hardly at all. Um, I did pick off a few tomato hornworms. Um, I did take I did shake off some of the leaf footed nymphs. And I don't remember what other pest we have. I'll probably get to that in a minute. Um, but yeah, other than, you know, this is my first year having a large garden and starting most of my garden from seed, which I thought was nearly impossible because years prior, I would literally fail um, at even trying to start from a seed. So this year, most of my stuff was from seed. And so I'm pretty happy with that. Um, things that I'm gonna change for this fall and next spring I'm going to have to water more, um, especially the fall isn't as bad because it's cool. Um, it doesn't get very cold here, so temperature isn't really a uh, issue, or I can't use it as an excuse. Um, and I have a smaller garden in the fall, and so it's not going to take as much water. Um, but in the summer, I'm going to have to come out here, and I'm going to have to water the whole garden. Um, maybe even doing like a schedule each day of the week, I come out here and water a different area so that the garden is getting a good amount of um, water throughout it um, because once the fall gar or once the spring stuff that lived to, to now um, once it got water and once it cooled off a little bit it was good to go it started producing it was great um, next or this fall I did start using fertilizer before I planted my transplants um, it's just the natural fertilizer 
um, granules. I think it's like called like Tomato Plus or it's something like that. But it's natural fertilizer. Um, it's almost a 555, so it was great um, for my plants this year. I've already started doing a little bit of um, fish fertilizer on some of my plants just to kind of get them started again. Bro. Um, I'm going to have to use pest defense. Even though they weren't that bad this year, they always say that once they find out where the plants are, <laughs> they're going to come back the next year. And so I think I'm going to have to do something about ants. Because especially in my raised bed, ants ate most of my plants' leaves. Um, so I'm going to have to do something about pests. Uh, tomato horn worms weren't that bad this year. We got about five um, on all 16 or 14 plants. Um, so it wasn't that bad. Um, next year I do plan on buying neem oil. And I'm buying slug stuff now. So that I can use it on my lettuce. Um, this year we had squash bugs, leaf footed nymphs, hornworms, and ants. Um, so I'll have to find stuff throughout the year and research on what's best to use for them. Um, I'm going to have to prune more. It's inevitably going to happen that I'm not going to do it. Um, tomatoes I kept pretty pruned this year. I kept the bottom probably three inches or, or one foot to 18 inches. Um, basically pruned. It, they were empty. It, they were able to breathe. I cut off suckers and actually repotted some. I have one right here. It's it's working on it. <laughs> um, so, and hopefully for this fall, I'm gonna try my hand at composting. Everyone says it's really easy. Um, and it doesn't require a lot of attention, and so, if I can get something that doesn't require a lot of attention, that'd be amazing. Um, and especially somewhere to put my chicken bedding and any, um, plants that I pulled this year that aren't diseased, and, um, leftovers from the house, or scraps from the house. There's Sebastian. Sebastian is the outside cat that, um, he's the garden kitty. He's not my cat. He's the neighbor's cat. But he wanders the neighborhood. Um, yeah. So, that is it for my seasonal garden overview. Um, I'm hoping we have a better spring next year. It seems like most everybody I follow on YouTube and Instagram, they had a really tough spring this year. And so, if I can just get a better spring next year I think I'll be good to go um, the fall plants are looking great everything's growing according to plan last video I said that we were gonna have a frost or a freeze um, we did have a freeze and I covered majority of my stuff and I think everything lived I mean the pumpkins lived and I figured they'd be the first to go um, so there's no more So, there's no more freezes or frost in the forecast for the next few weeks. So, I think we'll be good to go. Hopefully, we'll get some more stuff. Bye, y'all.